Good morning, welcome back to another great learning video. In this case, we're going to show how to make a nested if statement to put things in a buck in a range between bad, poor, good, and great. So we're going to actually build an if statement, this if statement, using these criteria. Now if you think about an if statement, what it does is allow you two conditions, the pass condition or the true condition, and the false condition, pass and fail. So you just need to think about it. Every time we merge two if statements together, we end up with an extra condition. So in the first case, we get one con you know one condition and then a flow over. So what I did was I put a simple if statement in. I said, hey, if this value is less than this value, I use this references on this table, then do this. Otherwise, put a one question mark. That allowed me to put a second if statement in. And I get the second if statement. So let's go ahead and just do one of these to show you how it works. So in this case, I'll delete and just go equal if so you assign this is less than or equal to this. We'll go ahead and we'll make an absolute reference on the row because we're going to be copying this down. Then if it is that, go ahead and let it equal the bad sales number. Again, put an absolute reference on the one because we're copying it down. Otherwise, the fail condition, we're just going to put one question mark. Okay, it's like a placeholder. Okay, so let's see. So the formula reads, if that value is less than or equal to P2, and it's, it is, then do P1, put the word bad. Otherwise, put a question mark. That's like a, a holder, like a point where I'm going to put the next the next step. So then what I do is I repeat the very same action here. And in the, in the last condition, I repeat the same action except for because I picked up the else condition. I only had three levels. I could actually put the else from being S1, which is the final piece. So it's the same formula, same as here. But see, I put the second question mark. But in the third case, the else is the great condition. So all I had to do to build this calc was take the first calc, well, just copy it. You notice I'm not doing a relative copy left. In this case, I'm building an equation. So I put the first calc in, it works. Then I grab the second calc that we just wrote, except for the equal sign, leave the equal sign here. This is the step method of doing things. I step it through and I know what's going on. That way I don't make any mistakes writing a really big complicated if statement. So there's several of you that would just I know just write it, but now we got the second one. Let's go get the third and final if statement. And the third and final if statement comes in here and we get rid of this. And then we copy it down and see if we made any mistakes or not. If we did, we'll correct it. And voila, it works. And we, and we simply did it by doing the first statement. And I wrote the first statement down where it just does this is less than or equal to this? If it is, choose this. Else, I put the placeholder in here, one question mark. That means it's my first if statement. Two question mark means my second if statement. And the third, I just don't need to do a third if statement unless I wanted to bring another level in. Now, I know there's better ways of doing this. You could do it through different kind of commands, but this, I just want to show a simple command on how to get it done. But it, it works. So it just how to ban something and spread it out across things. I uh, hope you enjoyed this learning video.